too long, she said. Okay, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, let me get you cleaned up. New member already. Woo, Renee, that's awesome. That, do some little stuff real fast. So Kyrie is usually a mobile client, but um, we had to cancel one appointment or reschedule, I should say. We had to reschedule one appointment from the beginning of the month. And then today it's raining, so generator doesn't function in the in the rain very well so i she used to come to the salon i know some of you guys maybe have seen her videos a long time ago so i said you can, you can push it out one couple more days or you can uh, come to the salon if you want she said yeah Didi, i really want to stay on schedule so she decided to come to the salon today so at the door mom said uh that she did take her in for her teeth her teeth are really, really tough and really, they're really in a bad condition, but she's older and you just got to decide, you know, what to do. And sometimes it could be a real hard decision to make. So I'm doing a 10, sorry, I'm doing my Anna's five speed clipper and I'm using a 10 blade. I did her face. I did her tummy, her sanitary. She's just one of my favorite Shih Tzus because she is just so, so sweet. I'm actually going to come. Well, I'm not really sure what to do because her mom's, uh, this is all, this all can't, this all can't even, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but no, that's not going to happen there. I got to go a, short, a little shorter on the legs because they're a little knot up there. For me, if we're not brushing, leaving long is just not worth it. If you're not brushing regularly, then, you know, then I wouldn't even, uh -uh. I would just say, do the haircut and we'll see you in three months. You know what I mean? If you're brushing every day, that's a whole nother story. I'll be able to tell. There wouldn't be tangles and knots in here like that. And since every dog is different, like with Kyrie here, her hair, I think her brushing once a week would be fine. She's not, we keep her at a decent length where it's not over overgrowth. I'm going to come down with the four guard there. So I'm going to just skip that. Like it's, it wouldn't be hard to just cook, uh, get this all brushed out every Friday night, you know, or every Thursday night, whatever you want to call it. It's nice and rainy and gloomy here today. I was driving into work thinking, I can't wait till spring gets here. And then I thought to myself, I am ready to move because spring lasts about three days and then we're into the 104 degrees. I'm ready to move, man. Where they actually have some spring weather. <laughs> Mary Flores, I see the donation. Thank you so much. Woohoo! It makes me want to come back for more. So right now I've got my one guard. Some of it, sometimes it's a, got a kind of a peach or orange color to it. If you don't know about the guards, you need to go watch my guard videos. And this is nothing new. This is all stuff we've already talked about. So the one guard is a half inch. Should have it memorized by now, but I'll tell you what, I try not to think too hard about memorizing certain things. Memorize what you have to memorize. So I'm gonna come back and work on the legs. I'm um, I'm gonna saw check. Let me see if I can just brush some of it out before I before you girl. And my bad, I didn't even get a before picture. Let me see if I can get this.
can hear that knot in there. In here, just a little bit. Hear that knot? You okay? Yeah. Dana Smith, woohoo! Thank you so much for the donation. Renee Fisher, woohoo! Thank you. Appreciate it. When I look at the screen, I'm not trying to read really because I want to focus, but I'll see some blue. See some blue donations. Woohoo! Definitely makes me feel like, okay, we got to go live tomorrow. <laughs> we got to go live today. They really want to see us. Wow, it's busy. Yeah, and these are members, you guys. So I already know, man. This is double the double whammy. Woohoo! I got a poor profile, but I really want really want to say Kyrie's about 14 years old, and she's one of the sweetest Shih Tzus I groom. You notice she is not a black and white color. <laughs> You can't help but notice how many uh, grooms I get on the black and white Shih Tzus that are aggressive, like 99%. Charlie hasn't gotten too aggressive, like anything like that, on the grooming table. But, boy, if you mess with him, if you even approach him the wrong way in his house, he will attack you. <laughs> and if you if not, don't even approach him. You're just sitting there, and he, he comes up to you, and you reach down to touch him, like, just to pet his head. He will snap. I mean... The he never was like that, so it's I per, per I have my own beliefs on that stuff, my own opinions on that. Okay, so I had to brush all this out just to now come back and just cut half of it off, because what will happen is the guard won't go through. So when you want to leave a dog longer, it's double the work. That's why I'll be like, no, you know, just get the work done. You know, that's what I mean by that. Is it? In the sense of like, I'm trying to do this dog in an hour, not two hours. That's my business. That's my choice. So now I have on the notes to do a four guard down on the leg. So here we go. Now the comb will go through. At this point, if you want to take your time and hand scissor all this, by, by all means, you can. I'm not going to. Because that's not what I do personally. If you want to do that, by all means, this is where you would hand scissor all this hair. I would not hand scissor because I know in 20 years, if I were to still be able to groom it for 20 more years, my hands would be shot. So I'm doing what I can as far as... Uh, what I already know and have seen by other groomers older than me, that if you don't take care and find a better way, an easier way to do the same kind of work, and it may not be that $200 look or that two-hour look, but at least I know I'll be able to groom double the amount of time, in my opinion, because my hands won't be shot from over overworking the scissors for years. I'm going to go ahead and get that foreguard on her tummy. The foreguard has, usually has a purple. It might not always. And it's the one-fourth inch guard. These are my most favorite guards. The, the one, two, two, and four. So I'm doing her legs coming down with the foreguard. I've been doing the sanitary because mom wants that real cleaned up. And I told mom we were going live. I don't know if she went home and watched. I can't really go live and I don't go live in the mobile trailer. It's too loud and vibrating and stuff. And I don't usually have help in the, when I'm mobile grooming. Oh, 
Okay. So we... So if, if the pet parent said, look, hey, I need you to leave the body long, but do the sanitary really short. And in my opinion, uh, you have, you know, really long legs for any dog is going to bring in a fork. It's going to pick up a bunch of debris and here it's going to pick up leaves and mud and all this stuff. So you still need to, I don't know, right? So you're like, okay, well, what am I supposed to do with that? So. We did a one guard on the body, and then we're going to do a four guard here and four guard on the hiney. So it's not too short and crazy in the back, but it is shorter. All right, and then uh, we always do the head the same. Let me double check. It's a two guard reverse. Four guard down, teddy bear head is what I did. Okay. Jennifer, thank you for the donation. Woohoo! Thank you, Lee Rally. Woohoo! One of our top supporters. Lee Rally is always donating. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Look at you, girl. So four guard down. If I say four guard down, it's down with the hair. If I say reverse, it's reverse against the grain of the hair. That's what that means. I had a lot of questions about that, but I mean, I've been doing this a long time on YouTube. So that, that tells me how many videos you watch, by the way. You're not going to see a huge difference in length, so it's okay to kind of just do some blending there. She's down and out here. There's a little bit of static because, you know, it's still winter. Pull that ear up. Come down, foreguard down, straight down and kind of forward. Don't worry, it'll come together. It's all matted in there. I like to do the head just a little shorter than everything because it's going to grow the fastest. So the foreguard is going to be perfect for her once we get everything cleaned up here. This all, she also got mad a couple times, but see, she don't like her face completely messed with. It's because her mouth hurts so bad, in my opinion. Okay. Hey, girl, you want to see? Let me get a 40. Look at your face. Mary, thank you so much for the donation. Woohoo! Appreciate that. Look at your, look at your teethies. Look at your teethies. Come here. Let's go look at your teethies together. Look at your teeth. Yes. Look here. Smell. 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 Yeah. Smile. Smile for me. She's so cute. Look at smile. Let me see your teeth. Yes, let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, are you wagging your tail? Yeah, look at your teeth. I just think they're so cute. Yes, you're missing some teeth because I know you're a little old girl. You're a little old girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I just adore you. You're such a good girl. Yes. Who knew you were had who knew you were a senior, right? No one could tell, could they? No, they couldn't. No, they couldn't. I just adore you. Yes, I do. You're such a good girl. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me get this. Here, let me get this. This will help you, okay? Let's move this camera here just a little bit there. Yeah, you're such a good girl. Oh my goodness, you're such a good girl. When you get old, old on I me, mean, I'm gonna be very hurt. Yes, I am. I'm going to be really hurt not to see you again. Where is that? Let me see here. Yeah, it's too hard to adjust. I don't adjust it in the, before you get started. Mary, thank you. Woohoo! That'll help you just a tad bit. David, can you bring over my cell phone when you get a chance? I didn't bring it over here on accident. Is that can you just get a picture of them? Quick 
quickly now. Thank you. I'm like, I'm done with this call already. Does she smile for you? Yes, she or is her mouth closed? Like that with the uh, I just love her. We're doing a 40 blade ceramic is what I'm using right now. Um, it don't really matter. There is some difference, but it doesn't, it's not going to matter like that. If you're a groomer, you should have like one of each, honestly. One of each of uh, a lot of stuff and then like 10 of each on some other the 10 blade. But it goes back to how you're grooming the style. You learn how to groom stuff like that. You might have 30 shears and I don't, you know, I have four. And you and you use the shears more than you use the blade, so it's just so, it just depends on what you're doing with your with your grooming. It took me many years to uh, not years. It took me a minute to figure out to use a forty blade. I remember when I was in class in school, and I was like, I didn't know anything better, so I used a tip the ten blade. That's what we got trained on. Use a ten blade on the pads. Oh no 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 man. You barely take anything off. You can't even dig inside the pad when there's an at with a tin blade. Heck no. You're not going to get that out with a tin blade. You have a 40 blade? Oh my goodness. All of a sudden it's just like butter. Everything comes off with a swipe and you're like, wow. I can see all the pads like quickly, not just like over and over with the tin blade. Look at your teeth. Oh my goodness. Now, who put that under you like that, man? Who put that under you like that, huh? Well, I don't know. I'm going to have to talk, talk with her. Oh, Michelle P. Mary Sheldon. Woohoo! I had to scroll back because I saw some. I was like, oh, gosh, I missed some stuff. Oh, oh, my God. David T. wrote something and got into timeout. <laughs> David T., what did you say, man? So we have a bot now. It helps us. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let's take this off. Who put that on there anyway? Oh, I got chit-chatting over here. Who am I, Tyree? David T. is one of our biggest fans, and I don't know what he said, but if Nightbot didn't like it. I just have to laugh because I don't know what he put, but there's some there's some words now that have triggered. It will <laughs> if it triggers, if there's some word triggers. I mean, that's what knife. That's what bots are for. So okay, you know what I mean. Hey girl, I know you're looking a little shaggy, but we'll come back to it. Let me get your nails done here. One of those nails went flying, didn't it? Oh, don't get, did you burp? Okay. I know, don't look at me like that. Oh, 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 you don't like it? Uh, woo! Woo! Focus on something else. I've never hurt you before, so that's, that's a good thing. Let me see. Let me see this one. Come in here, like so that it's like not right there where she could bite my hand all easily, but okay. Boop. One more. Good, 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 good. Look at you so. I gotta come check your face. Let's see what your tail is doing here. For me, it's like right here looking at where the poop comes out. And when she poops, it's going to be here. So making sure that's all down out of the way. When dogs poop, their tail goes like this and they're squatting, right? Okay. 
I'm gonna come back with the tin here and just get her sanitary a little bit more cleaned up. Now that everything's kind of evened out back here. Skim, skim, skim. Okay. All right. Christy, thank you for the donation. Woohoo! I'm trying to scroll back up for that one. $20 donation. Mary Sheldon. Oh my goodness, man. That's a lot. Thank you so much. Okay, so here, this is my favorite part of the mini is that I never realized it, you know, that you have the mini. And you just wish you could just trim around the edge, right? Here's your edge. There's no, the table's not in your way anymore, right? Because now she's got, I put her foot on an edge. And I bet some of you guys are doing like the edge over here, edge of the table here. Same thing, man. So now I can just really get in there. This is one of my favorite parts of the mini. I was like, oh gosh, this is, I could totally do this with this. And you have some, some leverage here. There's some, you know, space there. Whereas you would normally wouldn't have that space because her tape, her foot's right on the table. Love it. Just love it, man. You can get your mini at dogupstand.com. You can get a uh, set. You can get kit sets on my favorite groomer of the mini, double minis like that, so that you can use two minis on one shih tzu underneath the tummy. Yeah, girl. She's so cute, right? So this is a member only chat. It's a members only. So this is for you guys, members. I can really see what you're talking about easily and answer quick questions. And they gotta be quick. If they're not quick, I recommend the counseling coaching. You can book that kind of stuff at my favorite groomer. And if you want a video request, like DJ requests, except for video requests, you can go there and book that too under business services. You want a video just about something you need to see? Um, that's how you go and book that kind of stuff. Remember I told you if, if they're walking around on it like that, walking around on that hair already cut off, then it's real hard to see what's there and what's not. David Torres texted me. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know what he said, but I, have to, I don't have time to look. What did he write? <laughs> I'm wondering what you wrote, David. Were you, were you being clean? All right, we're taking too long here because I'm just having a little bit of fun with her. Let me check her face here. Oh, it's raining now. It's raining now. I can hear it. Oh, we got some knots in there. Got to come brush that out. So if you're at home and you don't have a comb and you have pets like with hair, not short hair, but hair, this comb should, right here just told me there's a huge knot in there that I need to go back and cut that out or demat it. I cannot talk about that enough. Comb doesn't lie. So I already know this client, this client does not brush at home as, as far as I know. So I already know that, but she doesn't come in matted. This is a mat but it's not her whole body. That's why we choose this, this length of hair. Cause if it was any longer, it would be matted every time. But if you're a pet owner and you have that situation, this is why a groomer is going to say, look, I can't do it no more, man. Not, if the pet is matted, look at all that static. If the pet is matted all the time, it's a lot of work and it's hard on the dog. The dog doesn't say anything. Okay. 
come back do not this one this is your matte breaker this is an old school one but i mean we sell them on our website same thing no matter what the handle looks like and all this and that it's the same stuff so So do you map that? It's just going to break it up. Is that tool very, it's like razor blades. Yeah. You better know how to use it. You better be careful. But you still need to break that mat either with scissors or that. Or brush it until you get it out. If you can, you may not be able to. By the way, I'm using my leave-in conditioner in one of my favorite spray bottles. And it is labeled. Make sure you're labeling your products. I want to get you guys ready for that day where you do need to have that stuff. You know, you do need to have everything labeled. You go into a barbershop, that better be labeled. Your bottles need to be labeled. And in some cases, you need a date of when you diluted it. That's why I don't dilute. Uh, that's the only, this is the only product that comes as a concentrate. It's up to you if you can get it with as or as not a concentrate. that I sell. That's the only diluted bottle that I think I sell. And the diluted bottle I recommend for those of you who have more than one dog, because you're not going to go through it very fast. You just use a couple squirts per groom. More than one dog or you're a groomer. And if you have more than one dog, you should be ordering gallons of shampoo, not, the, not one 16 ounce or 11 ounce. Oh, no, 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 right? Is Mikio out there? I should get this face. I, she might be watching here. Just because you're not a member doesn't mean I don't love you. But I do I do want to bring out member benefits like today's chat. So don't think I don't love you if you're not a member. So we'll get her nose. Her nose hair is stuck to her nose because of saliva and stuff. I don't like the eyelashes in there. You can see how rock hard they are. They're not worth it. <laughs> Get them out of there. Her eyes are going to be drooly and stuff. Look at this. Okay, you can't see it, but it's there, right? Ew. I'm going to rinse that off in a second. That's why you get a flea comb. Those things are pretty affordable too, man. Get a flea comb. So we'll do the finish of this. As long as we don't have a lot of uh, mats in here, we'll finish it all up after the bath. All right, now I don't know if we can get a close up. This camera that we just got a couple weeks ago now is a really good camera. So I'm going to show you guys. You know, I've, we've talked about teeth. Mom got the pets gel, like pets life gel. Um, let me see if I can figure out the zoom focus. Okay, here we go. So the teeth are cute. So are sockies, but the the bacteria is really bad in here. Okay, and. Uh, it's painful. She's got a tooth in there. If I move, if I touch it, it'll move. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just saying. So it is a key to make sure you keep the, yeah, you know, you got to work on these teeth. So she's struggling with today. She said, I'm struggling with, what do I do, Dee Dee? She's not having any uh, problems. The vet, we did blood work and the vet was like, she has amazing blood work, right? She goes, if I open up this door with her teeth and go get a dental done. And then all of a sudden she goes downhill from there. It'll kill, that would kill her, wouldn't it? So I gave her some options. I told her to try to cut, get her vet to do oxygen. I don't know if they can. I worked at a veterinarian, so I kind of get some things. I said, do oxygen. Just say, I'll pay you like two, 200 a pop. Just like you do a little bit at a time. So you then I want you to work with this one tooth or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, But use oxygen and see if you can avoid having the trachea to put in. So I told her that. And then I also told her about a company called Tooth Fairy. I don't know them. I've never used them, but I know that they're out there. I told her to go look them up. But she's got several teeth left, but those teeth are just like hanging on, which is really bad bacteria in her mouth. And she may not have bad blood work now, but potentially she could have really bad kidney problems later. I'm not her vet. I don't know. I'm just giving advice or giving my opinion based off of my experiences. So I told her those teeth should come out. If it were Saki, I would be like, those teeth need to come out because she is sucking down that bacteria every day. And we've talked about teeth being really bad and what it could do to a groomer, haven't we? So it's really important. She does decide what to do. Okay. Let's go to the bath. Come on, sweetie.
It is raining hard now. See, I know exactly. Like, man, sometimes you just make that call. I told, uh, if it's pouring, uh, if it's rainy and cloudy and stuff like that. Thanks, Janice. Thanks, Janice, for the donation. David has worked some hard hours trying to figure out the night bot as a gift to me. Uh, I know it wasn't, uh, I know it's not free. So I know he's been working on it. And so uh, the donation, Janice, to help us support the night bot. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's really sweet. Uh, maybe you know a little bit about that. But we always get some serious situations happening on chat. And we hate that. You guys can't just enjoy your time with me. Um, haters should just move on. And, you know, it is what it is. So they're still there. And we have Nightbot now for that. Um, all right. We're going to get into her bath together. And I'm glad I can see myself here. Because then I can just adjust the thing here. And say I don't have to go out and look at the screen. All right, let's get on with it. But it is pouring right now. So on the mobile side, in the morning, I've got to go pick up the trip. If I have a mobile day, I have to go at 7, like literally at the gate, 7 a.m., pick up my trailer. And so there's a lot of planning already behind that, right? So if you already see bad weather, you want to go ahead and plan. If you have in this, I'm going to do a video on should I go mobile or should I have a salon for those folks opening businesses or curious on what to do. You wouldn't believe how expensive it is. So you need to decide, what am I going to do? I have the trailer. It's paid off. But there's still expenses that come with the trailer. Trailer ownership, registration, insurance. I mean, there's why, right? So you need to pick what you want to do is what I would do. And then focus in on that. And then we can talk more about that in like business class. I know they're so excited. But it's pouring right now. My generator can, can start. It's like an exposed engine in a trailer. So if you have a generator, it's not going to... It's going to get like, it's like pouring water into your engine. It's going to shut down. It'll be like, blah, 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 and it'll shut down. And there was a couple of times I was like, oh my gosh, so I brought a piece of wood and would throw it over it. It wasn't like a hundred percent, but at least I finished the groove and I was like, okay, you know, I, I'm done. But I realized, oh my gosh, my, my generator is not going to run in the rain. And so I, I was, you have to plan that early in the morning. You can't go, okay, well now I'll go get my trailer. It doesn't work like that. Because if it rains all day, you're not, you had gone to pick up the trailer, drove this trailer around, gas is more expensive, you know, all these things that come into that. Okay, I know that some of you guys are don't care about that, so let's move on. Let's move on to the, the bathing here. All right, girl. Yeah, let's do this. Let me get an apron on. So today, uh, when we get done, I'm going to be Clorox bleaching and cleaning all the groom loops. So make sure you are bleaching your, your groom loops and stuff like that. Get this water and warm. I've been using my favorite spray bottle for the Parvo's uh, cleaner and a uh, different bottle like for everything. And I've noticed it's actually working. So I really wanted to make sure it would not break, you know, the inside the, wouldn't it eat up the plastic in those bottles so that I could use them because that spray bottle is really great on your hands. It's very soft. It's like one pump and you can get a whole long spray. So those pump bottles are great for your, your cleaner, for your, but make sure you label them. If you need labels, just say so. I'm going to put some labels on the, the store here soon, but recently Karen uh, ordered a big, box of stuff and she ordered uh, four bottles and I said I'll send you I'll throw in some labels for you but make sure you get some labels or buy some labels or have some labels and label your equipment otherwise you'll be spraying parvo on the dog on accident parvo cleaner boy she needed it she is dirty
All right, we're doing our pet silk rainforest shampoo. It's my favorite. Like it'll, you know, it'll never get old. It smells so delightful. If you guys have, if any of the members have bought that or received it from me, go ahead and put on there. What do you think it smells like? What does it smell like to you? She's really dirty though. It's just got to, I can't, I'm not, you know, I took a wine class on how to like breathe wine and test wine and find the best wine. And they would be like, can you smell the hint of hazelnut? You know, and I'm like, no, I can't. And so I'm not really great at pick, trigger pinpoint, like pinpointing that one scent, you know, but I feel like there's a little bit of flower, floral in there, very tiny bit of floral, a little bit of fruitiness. Gosh, I, I don't know what it is, but it's really smell. It smells great. It smells great. I like to get the top of their head because you see me on with Saki on the other channel. I'm always kissing her head, right? So I like that smell right on their head, but watch the eyes. And if you need to get a uh, tearless shampoo for the face, do that. I'm going to do a little bit of rinse out and then I'm going to come back with some conditioner in here. Same conditioner, rainforest, rainforest smell. So now we're just adding to that so that it'll last longer. We're going to get our brush through bath brush. It's not the same brush. Once you wet the brush, it's never the same. So have a designated one for the bath. I'm just going to go through some of the long hair here. To have that water going through it with it. You okay here? Oh, hold on here. I was like, I adjusted that already, put it around her body, so I'm wondering why she's still coughing. On your older pets, you need to adjust a few things. You know what I'm saying? Every pet's not different, but on these older pets, you need to adjust a few things if you need to. Oh, no. Come on. Come on that way. There you go. Good girl. Just real lightly. You just want to help that really come untangled. Really straight down. Now do a rinse. I might come back and do her ears, but. Come back here, turn it down a little bit. You got to have it running to get that water go through with the brush. So, if you don't have this water nozzle, get it. I have it on my website. It's not that expensive, and it is worth it. You see, once I had to pump it for, with my wrist for water. Nope. Just turn it on and let it go. Okay, now back to normal. You do need to rinse the eyes and everything. hair up off her nose. Remember that one that was stuck? Move that out of there. Are you okay? It's okay. Take a breather. I'm going to double check the, with the flea coat, make sure I got all this boogers out. No, I did. It's okay.
clean your tools here real quick. Get a towel. How about it? Ooh. Remember Mary Flores. Woo I just had to scan up, make sure I wasn't missing too much. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? So really scrunching your ears and really capturing it. Not like, not doing this. Okay, you're not doing that. Just nice soft squeeze there. Capture that water. They're talking about a dental where it costs. Somebody goes charge fifteen hundred dollars and their dog only has like five teeth left. Yeah, but it's surgery. It's like a surgery case. Yeah, so. and I was letting them know. I was like, my dental work costs like five grand. They want so. That's cheap. It's anesthesia. To. It's the medical staff. It's the help. It's the oxygen. We can't even get. You can't go to the store and get oxygen. You can't. You can't even yeah. get. I tried to get oxygen for the heart disease dogs I had. I was like, how can I give me some oxygen for my dogs? There should be a way. You have a dog with heart disease. Uh, I, mean, I think you can oxygen, go get oxygen can help. Oxygen for um, scuba diving, but it's not pure oxygen. I don't know, but I don't even know how to. Uh, oh, that's true. Why didn't we do that? You didn't think about it. No. So you could probably only buy it where the where you're close to the ocean. No, right there. There's a scuba shop down there on 121. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They, what the? Matter of fact, I was going to volunteer for, since I'm scuba certified, I was going to uh, volunteer for this dive heart. You guys look it up. I, I This is a shout out to a company. You, know, but you, you can buy oxygen. It's called Dive Heart. Welders also go check use them out. oxygen too. If you're a diver, go check out Dive Heart. Huh? Being, welder, being a welder, you use oxygen too. Really? Huh. Acetylene and oxygen. Anyways, I really needed, I thought Duke really needed to have pure oxygen when he couldn't get air through his lungs. And I was like, can I, you know, if I have oxygen, I think that could have helped him when he first started losing his. Uh, you just didn't know where to get it. That's or it. or at, at the time, like this is like nine years ago now, eight, nine years ago. It's not like you go, like, hey, let's think about oxygen. It's like in there. And every veterinarian, there was no help with that. It's just you sitting there thinking, what do I need for my dog? You know, oxygen is not breathing. Yeah. But what would you have to do with that oxygen? You would probably have to do a, a nose straw through his nose. No, just one of those uh, like like the humans get. That's like there's there's this one guy who passed away. He was a client of mine with a Shih Tzu, and I went to his house and he came to the door strapped to, to, for his nose to a machine, giving him oxygen. Oh, that's yeah, how he yeah. would sleep at night. I know who you, I know what you're talking about. So I don't know how we get that, but you can't get that without a prescription. We're only talking about oxygen. <laughs> I want to say those people, don't they have like a tube going down all the way to their lungs? No, no, not him. It's just like a mask. You put it on. Because the, the, the lady with the, outside, the like blind that. dog lady yeah. with the mobile, same thing. She walked all the way over. She took it off. She talked to me. She put it back on. Uh, that means that the oxygen outside is not pure enough for you right. to be breathing. Right. Well, no, when you get start having uh, medical problems, you then there's more a, oxygen. You need, you okay? Yeah. Where's my eyeglasses? I do need to get myself an ear. Okay, you guys, she's going to blow dry. So if it's loud for you guys, push the mute button. Get your protection. We sell everything. You get your go your goggles, your facial. I need. I, we sell the protection. I just don't have any here for my ears. But Face Callie, mask. you're right. I should protect my ears. Thank <laughs> you. 
on now so later on when you come back and do the first part it's already there make sure it's tight if you clean up as you go then you don't have to keep coming back here you know if you clean up as you go life will be easier And then lastly, put things back where they go so that you're not revisiting, like, where did I put that? If you do that while you work, then clean up at the end of the day is just sweep and go. And that goes for home, too. I always tell David, make things easier, not harder. No, I'm talking to you, too. Daddy, like if I had a Texas license, I would prescribe you oxygen. Uh -huh. you prescribed. Well, maybe I should find a nurse out here that can do that. Stupid. It's good to just have it on hand. Yeah, right. yeah when I was working for the veterinarian, I understand like they had it for emergencies, a mobile one outdoors. Yeah. They always had oxygen. It was part of like what they did. They would always pull out the oxygen and make sure it was in the shade. Now that I kind of think about it, when we were underwater, it did feel really good to breathe. Clean. It was Clean clear air. and yeah, and, yeah. and sometimes it is hard to breathe. So I gotta lower that. Because yeah, I changed the position on that. Sometimes it is hard to breathe out here. Like the air is dirty, polluted. It is polluted. Yeah, that's what it is. That's why humans don't live to two hundred anymore. Alright, this your this one's empty. 
leave in conditioner. Here we go, just a tad, not too much. I'm going to do the head now like this. Christy says she tells her kids that every day. What? Put it back where it goes. So every, if you live in a household with more than one person, where'd you put the keys? Where'd you put that? Where's my socks? I don't know. No. Okay. Since we got all kinds of stuff going on, I'm going to brush it up. I've now moved her loop because she's coughing. I'm going to move her. I forgot. Not forgot, but I mean, as soon as you see something that you need to fix. And then in the when you're blow drying, you're able to really see each individual hair. And I could see in here, there was mats right here. All in here. Okay. So now I've got to come back. So the mat gets worse with water. Okay. So at least it was just a couple here. I'm going to shave those out. Right. Look at that. I saw it when I blow dried her. Okay, so I got to come work that out or cut it out before this will go through. This won't go through that. See, this won't go through that. So we're going to come under here. Use the edge of your tin blade. Just take that mat out. Don't shave it all down to the skin and all be all silly like that. Just use your edge to kind of cut through it. So when you brush the rest out, it's hardly noticeable, and then you can finish up the haircut itself. Come over here. You can hear it right there. See, can't even tell. But I saw that in the drying. So if you if if, if you cage dry. At the business you're in, you're not going to see those things because the cage dryer is going to be hung on the front of the cage and dry for two, three hours and whatever until that dog is completely dry. So that's why we don't, I don't, I've never used a cage dryer uh, outside of working for corporate. It's either all hair, all dry or no dry. You know what I mean? There's no option. Your dog doesn't want me to all dry, then there's the air dry. No, no blow drying. But only if someone doesn't explain all those things to you as a pet owner, you'll be like, why is my dog not dry? I would rather have my dog wet than force dry it in a cage. Now, it's not really a force dryer. It's a powerful dryer, but putting a cage dryer on there. Okay, we got everything kind of brushed forward here. So you guys put on there, you put down in the comments, cage dry, force dry, or no dry. What's your, what would be your, okay. No, it shouldn't be like that either. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be, if I can't blow dry all the way through, would you prefer cage dry or no dry? Which means air dry. So cage dry or air dry. What do you guys prefer? I'm going to tell you, you're probably going to prefer air dry. Y'all know this. I think in other places, they don't think to give you an option. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You're going to get a haircut. You must blow dry that dog. So there's no option to dry, air dry unless you mention it. Hey, I really don't want you to cage dry my dog. So what kind of dryer do you have? Oh, I have a cage dryer. Okay, well, I'll take him wet and you can skip the blow drying. You know what I mean? No one's teaching the owner that. No one's teaching the owner that stuff. Changes you made might not be saved. It says leave the site. I don't know what that had to do, why that popped up. Oh, it can't be a nurse. It has to be a prescriber. Okay. What kind of prescriber would understand what I'm doing and why I would have the need for that, though? Well, I don't think you can abuse the fact of having oxygen. I'm not trying to abuse it. I just want it on hand. You got a dog uh, that's hyperventilating or having problems breathing, be well, able to top it out. I think it's time for one of us to go be a veterinarian. 
Which I can. Which I'll just need be? to be, I'll have to be gone for, for two years. Which shall it be, me or you? <laughs> oh, it's just, pouring now. I'm just trying to update right now. I know. That's why it, it just did something else, too. I hope it doesn't self shut down. Okay, the Apple Mini might self shut down. If it does, just we'll see you later. Because if it's got to update something, something, then this is a bad day. I don't know. I don't brush and dry. I tried that. It doesn't work for me. Unless you are on a real slow fluff dryer, then I can see it. But drying really with the powerful one, oh no. That's that's too loud and noisy and it's crazy. It's not the same, but fluff drying and brushing, that's how you get that soft look. It does take longer if you can imagine. You have to have the time. You're not going to get that dog done in an hour, in my opinion. And, we, and it depends on the dog. Okay, now let's see if we can bring this through. Keep in mind now the groom loop is in the way. So it's not, it's right here. It's going to level out, but don't go down the legs. You're using a four guard over there. So it's a waste of time to now go down the legs because the four guard is shorter. down the chin with the four guard a tad bit so and i also did the chest a little bit underneath with the four guard so i just need to get right here a little bit i'm actually going to do this for a minute it's pretty good but it's pretty loose there She wants to really look at me, man. She's just so sweet. All right, we came down with the four guard on the tummy too, back under here. So don't waste time with the wrong, the wrong blade and clipper. Again, I'm still using my 10 blade. Oh, that's the two guard. Two guard is longer than the four guard, leaving the hair longer. Four guard is pretty short, shorter. I kind of probably just came back with the two guard. Oh, well. David, yeah. did you see the orders I set up right there for you? Oh, I already printed them. They're on the glass table. Did you also say we needed to order a 2XL? Uh, yes? Okay. I need to go. Well, you can go out that. Well, never mind. I'm, I'm going to go out there today. 
I gotta go pick up Callie's coat. I ordered me and Callie some jackets to see how they came out. Callie, I'm getting your jacket today with my logo on it. Woohoo! We'll see what it looks like. Pretty excited. Okay, now we're gonna come up to the face. This is from Akil. Akil loves her face views. I'm gonna pour down. She has a natural slice right down the middle there, so just take that down like that. Okay, we need to bring her. Okay, make it. Edge this into that. Skim, skim, skim. Blend that in. So now, see how hard it is to kind of get her to look up? Okay, so now we have to adjust this a tad bit, but I'm going to be cognizant about her neck and her coughing. But I do need her to look up. I can't hold her up and, and do a good job here. So there's some looseness, but I need her to look up. So this is considered like reverse here, coming down the sides of the face. And underneath the chin here. Because I kind of want to do a seven. She had a bunch of, you know, just, just stuff. Just get that out of there and keep it clean. So you can, uh, I may get my seven out or I might just scissor a little bit. You just want to get it even, right? That's why using a blade is so awesome. You can get that pretty even without having a hand scissor and be like, oh, it's, it's sloppy. It's sloppy on this side, that kind of thing. I imagine her mouth is painful, so I'm just kind of being aware of that. Okay. Kind of skim this stuff here. Skim here. Chili? No way, man, I'm hot. Because maybe by your rear, by the wall over there. Is it? Okay, well, I'm going home. I want to be in bed while it's snowing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I gotta get ready to do taxes, man. I hope you guys are ready for taxes. It's taking me hours to prepare for that. I'm ready. Days. Shut up, man. You're done. I did your taxes for you. Hey, man, you got some <laughs> Stupid. All right, all right, we're coming up, man. We're coming up. We're almost done here. Get ready. We're almost done, you guys. Taxes. <laughs> That leave-in conditioner man is going to leave him like, oh, how do you get it this soft? That's what I like to hear. How do you get it that soft? I'm like, oh my gosh, you need to carry this stuff. You need to use this stuff at home. There you go. It's an upsell. I mean, it's a good upsell. It's a real upsell. There's a reason, right? Because it's so soft. <laughs> 
why not be that soft all the time? In between brushing or in between grooming, you're brushing your dog, you use the same brush, you use the same solutions, and you get the same effect, the same softness. Why not? Your dog will always be soft. That's what I would want. Oh, smash the like button, please. There's 80. Oh, there's only 80 likes? Wow, and 136 watchers? They must not be happy. They're not happy. We got 80 likes on 137 watchers. We should just log off. You want to log off? Restart the feed. <laughs> got 86. People don't understand. Man. People don't understand. At the least, a like is worth um, 10 minutes of my time. Don't log off, she says. Callie's like, I'm happy. <laughs> They're the the ones that are the ones that are like happy and don't log off have already liked the video. We don't go up by ten minutes. We go up by one minute. Yeah, every minute should be a like. Those little things um, is like going to school and getting a, a D. It's like what? Then we won't do it again. Let's not do it. But there are so many donations. I mean, come on, people. I'm 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 very well aware of you guys supporting me. The ones that you are supporting, like, love, subscribe, share. I see it all. When you share it on social media, when you tag hashtag me, we can see all those things. Ooh, there's thunder. Ooh. Ooh, thunder. So I'm really grateful I have thunder right here. Callie. <laughs> thunder, and she is doing good. Sometimes, ah. It's raining, and we didn't have a problem with our internet. Ooh. That's so true. Remember those days? Yeah. It was worth the upgrade. Those upgrades are for you guys, you know. Upgrading internet so that there's no interruptions is not for us, because... I mean, we're not wa we're not watching it because <laughs> I can record on a camera and upload later. So little things like those upgrades that go a long way and cost a lot. Do you remember how much I told you it was to upgrade the internet for that? Oh my goodness! Getting a new camera so you guys could stop having wire problems, disconnects, all that crap. It's pissing me off, man. Pissing me off just thinking about it. Just pissing me off just thinking about it. Angela Turk, thank you. Okay, all of a sudden we are back. We're up to 101. That's how many people are watching didn't like the video. I really appreciate you paying attention and now participating. It's like when you go to a concert, they're like, lift your hands up. What, what? Say what, what? <laughs> Say what, what? What, what? This dog's like, Dee, come on. It's not party, man. Really want to get, I mean, her teeth are already in bad shape. I really want to get all that out of there. Got to be really careful in this area, though. Yeah, I know. I really want to get all that. Oh, goodness. Her teeth are already in bad shape. We need to get all this out. All this stuff in her mouth and in her teeth is just making it worse. So let's just do the best we can here. Come here. We're off. I live too much. I able to see. Ooh, thunder! I love thunder. Can you lift your window down? Go! Go open it. I mean, close it. I'm hey, this is not the time, man. So everybody's different. In this case, this is what I'm doing for her. Okay. She's older. I don't think she needs all this hair in her mouth. Uh, you know I don't like the hair in the mouth anyway. I know Angela knows what I'm talking about. Angela Bryce. We talked about that. But you got a young dog. You probably don't have all these problems yet. So these are things you need to be really aware of as a dog gets, as a dog is growing. And you can start it early on so that you never have a problem, you know, with the hair in the mouth and the teeth and all that stuff. But I'm spending some extra time here because I know of her circumstance. I know what her teeth look like. 
And the, the physical appearance of how it looks right now may not be pretty, but at least all the hair is out of there. Let me see. Right? I think you'd want if if you're a nurse or you you know what I mean. You, I know you know. I know you guys get it. Sometimes not about the looks. She's got the look. I'm just grateful she's letting me get in here. Look at that. Can you see that tooth? I can't look right now. I'm in here, but can you see these teeth in there? This is so helpful. You don't even know. This is extremely helpful to her. Even if it's temporary. What's he doing over there? Did you guys see that too? It's pouring again right now. See, I'm so glad I canceled, man. I canceled late last night or at nine o'clock last night. I called the client and we had already confirmed. And I said, hey, look, you know, I'm seeing the weather. I be better, 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 blah, 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 blah. better be safe than sorry. Well, I told you the weather, man. well, he did tell me the weather, but I told him the weather people are always wrong down here. I canceled the whole day and look, it's all sunny. If that has happened more than once. Yeah, drizzle. Look at this thunderstorm here rolling up in here. The downfall of something I did was I cut off all her chin hair though. So I have nothing to hold. So I'm grateful she's doing so good. Lisa, if you're out there watching, she is doing so good. You can see why I want to get all that stuff out of her mouth, right? That's like assuming mom is actually watching or seeing the video. So now I'm trimming all this stuff, but to make sure it's even, you can come back with your seven blade, you know? I don't think I need to do a 10, but you could do a seven blade. Seven blade straight, straight back and see, make sure it's even if you want to. Oh, it's, it's so, you're looking so cute. So I could use my 10 blade, but you know, she, her, she was like not liking the guard around to her chin and stuff. That's why I didn't do it. If you use a 10 blade and just take all this off. You could also do that. But I think she, the elect, the motor and all that running and all that. So she is a real pink here and real dark here on the skin. So you can kind of see it looks interesting. It looks different, but it's because her skin color is pink here and black here. Look at your face. Let me get a seven blade here. And do, and do exactly what I just said we should do, okay? Just make sure this is nice and evened up. Just straight line back. See how it's nice and even now? Not that it was really bad shape or anything, but definitely 100% even at this point. But I didn't have to work the clippers around her face the whole time, you know? All right, let's come back now. Ooh, you're looking so clean, girl. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and have David text mom so she can head this direction. You can check the weather real fast, David, and see if it's just going to be gone in a couple minutes. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to tell her to park in the back door just so we can run her out there real fast. So Mom's going to write a check. I already know that. Okay. The total is different than usual because it's not mobile today. Yeah. It's the regular. wish I had a board here. I do have a board at home. I'm going to bring it here. Okay. Is it good or 
Look at you. I'm going to stand right here. And then it's going to be, it's deleted already. Okay. Um, let's just say call when you get here, park in the back, closest to the door. However, just because I, I would rather us get wet than her. We can run her out there and park in the back if it's still raining and call me when you get here. She's going to have her check ready already. And just run her out. Because at her house, she could just park in the garage and go inside. They don't have to get wet at all. Gets your car? Yeah, call, park in the back next to our door. You can see if, uh, check back there if you want. Check back there and see if it's. Just say, say almost done. Head this direction and park in the back. Call when you get there. We'll run her out and just have your check ready. She might be watching. Lisa, if you're watching, oh, she can't write. <laughs> She's not a member, she can't write. Come on, if you're watching, so let me know. Thanks, Mikio. Mikio texting? Yes, yeah, let's face terms. <laughs> oh, I know she does, that's why I did Cliff says. See, you don't have to be a member to, for me to still care about your thoughts and opinions. But if you are a member, thank you. Thank you for going above and beyond as our loyal clients. Mom? Is that Lisa? I'm the mailman. Oh, yeah, that's her. Is that Lisa? Oh, shoot. You just, did you get our text? Oh, I was like, go outside the back. We'll run her out there for you. Oh, no, no, we're trying to help you. She ran inside. It's all wet. <laughs> She's sitting out there all wet. <laughs> I just, we just texted you. Yeah, no, oh, no. yeah, go ahead. You can cash her out. We're almost done. I'm wrapping it up now. Oh. See, Lisa, yeah. look at that. A few minutes ago, it wasn't raining at all, was it? And I was over here going, uh, telling YouTube, I was like, oh, I'm so glad I made that call, man. <laughs> Our weather people just can't figure it out. Uh, yeah, 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 you can do a visa. Okay, okay. The other way, give me the check. David will do that, figure that out. Oh, she did great. Everyone's loving her on this YouTube channel. You can go watch it later if you haven't been able to see it. Oh, it's so good, Lisa. She's such a good dog. I got a lot of hair out of her mouth too, so that'll really help her teeth situation. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Come through, pick up a, any flurries and stuff. I think in cases like this, I'm using an eight and a half, but I think if you have a 10, in, 10 inch shear, which I don't use, I sell them. I should, I should bust one out and try it. It's just a less, less swipes because you're working with like the longer part of the body is like a 10 inches all the way down rather than my eight and a half just goes, you know, halfway. So if you have a 10 inch shear, this, that would probably be handy. I'm probably going to try one out. Probably gonna bust one out and open it up and see. You know what I mean? The less amount of swipes, the faster you can get it done. Right? Um, yes, can I have 
Okay. We're almost done, y'all. All these little things. You hear mama's? She does really good now. Not a lot, just kind of shape this. Okay, I don't want to forget something. All right, I'm going to clean the ears and we're done. all my ear cleaner the other day. I need to go get it in the back. Can you go get the ear cleaner with me? Come on. Come on, let's go get the ear cleaner. Then reinforce calm just a tad bit. Okay, 
we're almost done. We'll be right back. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You see something? You know, it's always in that picture. You're like, oh, I see that. Oh, I see that too. Oh. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna give her to mom. And it stopped raining for a few minutes, so she'll be able to run out there and not get wet, hopefully. Okay, now I'm going to give you guys a few minutes of my time. All right, so, okay, let me get some. Wish I could do, how could I do that? I, I could, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I sat down and had my cell phone in my hand, and then I could actually, you know, answer some questions, like, instead of looking up at the screen. So I, I got to show you something real fast. Let me, show, let me bring this back down for a second. Okay, so here's a ton of bows, right? I know you just saw a comment. All these bows, right? All these bows. These ones we have we sell these on the store. These are really cute. I've made all these bows except for this one. Uh recently Heather made this bow. Like this bow here. Cute, right? Okay. Y'all not remember that brown dog that came in with a bow on her head and the mom still wanted a bow after me having to cut the whole bow out of her head? Like, uh, for me, oh, this didn't fall backwards. For me, there's some better lighting. For me, you just, I used to sell bows. I'm trying to think of your name. You're, you're in Pennsylvania. I've been friends with you for 14 years. She met me on eBay back in the day when I worked for corporate PetSmart as a groomer and I would make bows on the side and I would sell them in bags of like 50. And I, cause we, one of our, I don't know why, but come to think of it, we, in our class at, at grooming, we were shown how to make bows and how to like put bows on dogs. And I remember uh, there was like basically a few hours where some of the people that came through groomers or whatnot, teachers or groomers or whatever you want to call it because they use groomers that are working there to be your teacher. Right. And so uh, like that store manager, it was actually up in Frisco, I think Frisco, Texas. Uh, she's no longer there. I don't even think she's with PetSmart anymore, but she was a teacher manager and a groomer there. And they would do like, can you just close your eyes and imagine a store that could do like five over five, 500 dogs a day, 500 groom dogs a day. Y'all don't even I know there's some haters watching it and they're, they, they're out there and they're like, I can't believe, you know, you're doing that to the dog and all the, if you saw what, what grooming 500 dogs a day looks like, you would throw up. I mean, it is just, 
I, all I can say is that's why she was a school there uh, for PetSmart. And, well, it was a PetSmart and th they had one of their academies there with her and she was a great teacher. Uh, but that's why you got to learn so much was because there's 500 dogs a day, two to 500 dogs a day going in there. Probably more than 200. I'm just exaggerating. I'm exaggerating, not exaggerating, but I'm just undercutting it because I think it's about 200 on a regular, not, not a teaching school, you know, you know what I'm saying? So we learn how to do bows there. So the bow thing for me, I have learned over the years, it is a nuisance. It, it looks so cute. It really does. And bandana. Okay. I'll tell you the bow story and then I'll tell you the bandana story. So I put that video out with that brown, brown and very cream white, you know, Shih Tzu. Uh, they've never come back. I've never seen them again. And sometimes I don't see people again, which is why you need to make sure your rates are according to what you expect. Because if you are, there are some groomers that I've spoken to over the years and all this is not, this is the truth. I'm not a good liar. So I'm telling you the truth based off of my experiences, based off of phone calls, emails, text messages with people across the world, groomers across the world. There's a lady out of, forgive me, her name's Deborah. She recently texted me and emailed me. I don't think she's bought anything. She told me her story as a groomer. She said, I do the same thing you do. I think she's in Jersey or East Coast. And she said, um, she requires you to come back every month. And then she asked me about my prices, but uh, honestly, if you're going to require, then you're not going to get that person with the bow problem. You know, that bow problem person is not going to book or so then this is where you're, if you're a business owner, you might understand if you try to require a monthly visit, then when they come in the first time they book for the year every month, cause you required it as a business, then they cancel all of them with like, let's just say they cancel all of them before they come out. That first groom needed to be, a good price grew like a decent price groom. Because if you had now said, if you come every month, it's maintenance grooming, which it is, it should not be hard to do. It should be in and out. You should be in and out on a maintenance groom. If you come in every five, six months, then it's not a maintenance groom. It's like, you got to start all over. They're not brushing. They're not, you know what I'm saying? They're not doing and then the coat and everything is just starting all over. Then you need to have that rate. So for me, I found that people, uh, I do book for the year but I book for the year because you're not going to get in on a Saturday. If you don't, it's hard. You're not going to get a, there's no walk-ins here, things like that. That's just because I do one hour grooming. So I had a client call me and she was like doing this maintenance booking. And I was like, that's a, or a, a watcher, a YouTube watcher, not a client. She's like, I book, I make sure they book, you know, every month. And that's how she runs her business. And in some cases, then I would say in that you could do the bow thing and all that. Right. But for me, I have never seen that dog again. The dog had a bow. She left with a bow. I put a bow in her head with what little hair was left. I couldn't believe it. I would be like, no bow. Let's grow it out. Let's start over. I'm obviously not brushing it good enough. You had to literally chop the bow out because it was so matted. And I was like, you still want to put a bow in here? It looked ridiculous. I was like, this is ridiculous, but okay. And she bought the bow. She bought the bow. So what I do is sell you the bow and then you... I put it on for you. I don't do the free bow thing anymore because what I found is people are not maintaining the bow in their dog's hair at home. Just like Coco, this picture right here, Coco, she came in that one time with that feather thing in her hair. Oh, I had to cut it off. It's not, it's not maintained. You know what I'm saying? Okay. There's the bow story. Uh, we used to do bows all the time at PetSmart. All dogs got bows and bandanas. Okay. So now let's go to the bandana thing. I was um, ordering bandana, which is expensive. And if you get a really good bandana, that's even more expensive, three to five bucks on a bandana. Okay. So then you do bandana. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to start buying fabric, uh, cut the fabric with the edger. So it doesn't raffle the edger scissors. So it doesn't raffle apart. And I would pick out some really cool fabric. And I remember Jazzy, she changed my bandana life. Jazzy was a, a Jack Russell Terrier good friend of mine owned her. I'm still in touch with her, uh, military family. And I jazzed to Jack Russell. I would go to her house and this is before I even had a mobile trailer. I was just, I would offer, um, I'll go pick up your dog and bring your dog to my salon, groom your dog and deliver your dog back within like an hour. And I did that for a little while before I started, before I found my first location. So there's, you got to, that's business class. That's a whole nother thing. So that's one of the things that I did. And some folks like Michelle had found me. She had just found me when I was leaving the veterinarian. 
and I was going to her house. I would bend over backwards uh, to the tub on the floor and bathe her Jack Russell, do the conditioner, do her teeth, all, you know, all these things at her house in her bathroom. Then I would clean up the bathroom before I left, blow dried her dog, everything. Me and Jackie did that every month for like five years. I mean, it was, she was on schedule. Uh, they moved out of the area. They had some um, medical issues come apart. Uh, Parkinson's was aff affected her husband. I mean, a lot of things changed. So I hadn't seen her now as a groom client in a long time. Um, she was helping me bake those treats I used to give out though. And so we still have a relationship and I sent her a, a Christmas present. So, I mean, I, I adore Michelle, but the Jack Russell, okay, there's a little bit of the story of that, but the Jack Russell had a bandana every time I left and we loved the bandana. So we did the bandana every time I left until one time the bandana was red and it made the dog's coat, which is a white Jack Russell terrier. Okay. It was a red, she was red all of our, on her neck and it took months to go away. So at that point, like literally I was like, Boop! I donated all the bandanas I have and I refuse to now put bandanas on dogs. So you are going to pick and choose what you want to do. And as you learn lessons through your, your life, it doesn't have to be grooming. It doesn't have to be what I do through life. You're going to learn things and you go, Oh, we're going to stop doing that. You know, Oh, we're going to not do that. So I don't do bows unless you pay for them. Then you, then I know you're serious. Like obviously you really want that bow on her head. You're willing to pay for the bow. You buy the bow and I put it on, uh, which doesn't happen very often. A lot of people won't buy a bow. Um, they don't, you don't need a bow. Now, what I, what I think is really cute and fun is that's why I, I sell those pink ones. Those pink ones are not rubber band bows. Those pink ones are the clip bow, like they clip. So you still have to do something with the hair and then you clip the hair, clip the bow in there. So when it's a clip, what I have found is that the clip is going to fall out. It's not going to mat up. It's not going to allow you to mat up. What might mat up is a rubber band that you bundled up the hair and then you put the clip bow, but the bow itself, like that bow that I sell is cute. I mean, you can just pull the hair back, you know, for a little child too, you just pin the hair back, but it's not going to stay in there for six months, right? It's going to fall out. So I'm okay with stuff like that. But that's my my take on bows and bandanas. So maybe we can kind of put that in the video description because I've never really discussed all that. I don't think in all these years, but that's why I don't do bows. I will sell them, but I do not um, recommend them. And then I've seen I've seen some dogs wear their bandana until it's like shredded piece of fabric. So be careful, man. Uh, that shredded fabric could be licked on, and it was really dirty. So these are all things like, this is common sense, you would think. Take the thing off and wash it. Or if it gets to a point where it's that scraggly, you've got to get it off of there. It's got germs and bacteria that's constantly on your dog's neck. I mean, okay. All right. Okay, great. All right. So I'm about to head out. I love the Purple Hearts. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Well, tonight, Sophie, we'll be gaming with you. Uh, so get ready. Get some sleep because uh, we're going to get it on. Uh, but listening and trying to watch while lunch for dogs and getting ready to let pups play. Okay. David Torres and his doggies. Oh my goodness, man. They are now making sounds in the background when we game. So I know he has definitely got his hands full and he's trying to game and do the puppy thing. And last night he broke his, what did you break? He broke his, uh, pad. I don't know if it's an iPad, but he broke something. And I was like, cause you're multitasking over there, man. You need to put, he's trying to game. And do a live feed on Facebook. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? I was laughing. I was like, I felt really bad that he broke something. But don't multitask like that, you guys. Um, Sophie, let's play later on tonight. Let's game. On the gaming channel, I have found that, you know, unless you're sitting next to your spouse and gaming and getting irritated because he doesn't communicate, that gaming could be really fun and a relief. <laughs> Is he listening? No. All right. Uh, Oh, Angela Turk has a question. Hey, DD, left you a question at 10.05. Can you check it out? Can you repeat the question um, now? Okay, sad thing is it happened 10 minutes after I stopped the Facebook stream. Oh, gosh, man, that's just horrible. Some of y'all are, are watching us on the gaming channel. I don't know if you know how to find my YouTube playlists, but if you go to my favorite, oh, okay, so you go to youtube.com slash my favorite groomer. Make sure that says it at the top. 
and you'll click the our logo, my logo, my favorite groomer logo, and then you'll see right in the middle of the page like a bunch of tabs. And one of those tabs is called playlist. And in that playlist, there's a lot of playlists about different things like Shih Tzu, aggressive dog, this and that. But I just made one called uh, This Will Make You Laugh. And I'm going to start putting videos that I know made me laugh. Because uh, last night's ski video that David uploaded on the Me and You Gaming channel, it really is worth watching. Um, we will start doing some more videos like that. If you comment on those videos that you love it and please come with, back with more, we will. That takes time and you know, dedication and a trip and money and stuff like that. But we will definitely start incorporating more videos like that where we put stories in it. It's pretty funny. You guys got to watch. Go. I'm sharing this with you, Sophie, so that you can go laugh and watch watch that whole playlist. OK. All right. David Torres wasn't even multitasking. Boy, do I have this wrong. Huh? OK. So he put the link to the video, but I have a playlist set up that has over seven videos uh, that will make you laugh your buns off. So go to the playlist. There's the video, but go to the playlist. OK, the playlist has. And as I grow those videos, I have to go watch some other videos and make sure they're on there. That playlist is public and it's just going to make you laugh, man. Um, last night I was just dying laughing. I could not stop laughing. I was last night's video was me watching that while David was gaming. I was started, we started the feed of last night's live watching that. It, it was just so funny. Last Yesterday evening's video. Okay, I was focused on flying the plane probably. Whatever. You make it look easy to work with your trimmer and no guard. Okay, hold on a second. Thank you for repeating that, see. We got a new member, Super Orange Ice. Woohoo! Woohoo! Thank you for being a member. That makes me think of uh, vanilla ice cream with orange sherbet popsicle. Mmm. Oh, let's see here. Let me go back. See how fast the question's gone? Question's gone already, man. Sophie, the Maltese poodle mix. Nope, haven't seen her in quite a while. Okay, let me scroll, scroll, scroll. Super orange ice. Mm, okay. You make it look easy to work with your trimmer and no guard in the sanitary area and the pads of their feet. I would never use a guard in those areas. The guard would just poke the wrong thing, if you can imagine that. I am scared to cut my dog. Do you have a suggestion? Angela Turk, you're too far to take training with me. So I had a lady who wrote me an email and said that she uses a 10 blade and the 7 blade and she nicks her dog all the time everywhere. So let's just imagine that for a second. Hmm. Um, I, I was like, okay, stop <laughs> in the email. I was like, stop what you're doing. I said, I wrote her some stuff. I said, you need training. And then I came back and wrote her a second email and said, okay, if you can't go get training, okay, these people are still going to do what they're doing. They're still, and she might be watching right now. You're still going to groom your dog because you bought the equipment you don't want anyone else to groom your dog, but you also can't be the one nicking your dog over and over. Please don't do that to your animal. I recommend you invest. This is not a, this is not making bows. It's not sitting at your kitchen counter and making bows. This is working with an animal that's alive, that has skin that you can just literally just slice. I would not want to slice my own animal or anyone's animal. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't voluntarily say I, I will do it. And I've done it 16 times and I'm, I got to get back in there and do it again. No, you need training. Okay. And sometimes, uh, you know how each of us has our own hobbies and our own career and we're good at it. Not everyone else is also going to be as good at it. At it. Um, what's you guys have any examples? You can put it out there, but you go, I might be a good bartender, but this guy's a better bartender. I might be a good groomer. I don't nick dogs, but this lady, she has never nicked a dog in her life for whatever reason. Um, so if I were you, I would shave myself and I, I'm being literal. So uh, take your private part, for instance, and I, I forgive me. This is, a, this is one of the best ways you probably learn. Go get a pair. Use that clipper. I don't care. But you try to trim your own private part without nicking yourself with the tin blade. And you are going to soon find out how gentle you need to be, where you, how you need to grab stuff, move the leg properly, lift it, because you're going to move your own body parts and your own. I mean, this sounds gross, but it's true. If I didn't shave myself, 
I would not understand how serious, like, unless you come out here and go through training or you come over, you go book a class in California or wherever you need training. So if you can't get training, the last thing you want to do is come up with your tin blade, tin blade and slice stuff off, right? Come up and take off the whole scrotum because you dug too hard. No, that's not what you want to do. You have a female dog like her. I couldn't even see that area where she pees just yet. So it's like skim, skim, skim and clear it out a little bit. And then, but tin blade is the shortest, safest blade. Do you see how dangerous this could be? You would not want to bump and cut and nip into her private area because it will bleed. You'll be uh, infected. Uh, dogs get urinary tract infections, bladder infections, just like we do. So if you are trying to understand how to do it, use yourself. Get, I'm not kidding you. It sounds stupid. I would be like, okay, I'm going to shave my armpit. I'm going to use that tin blade. I'm just trying to give you examples of how silly this is, but how serious it is. You take that tin blade and you're banging yourself and nicking your own armpit. You're going to not bang yourself, right? So why not practice on yourself first? So I'm not saying you're going to shave your head, but I did tell that lady who told me, Didi, I've nicked my dog two or three times, like every groom. And I just can't see him how to not nick them. And I told her either get training, stop what you're doing and pay a professional to do it. Or I said, another idea is to start shaving your own arm, start shaving your own arm back and forth and this and get used to how you need to be, you know, in training. If you'd had gotten education, you would have groomed over a hundred dogs before you were allowed to groom for the public. You would have groomed a hundred dogs, be different dogs, different owners, different temperament, different aggression before you are allowed to even get on the market. If you're nicking your own dog, I would be like, I would cringe every time I did it until I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. This is not what I'm good at. So then go do what you're good at, make the money what you're good at, and then go pay a groomer to do it. And then the key is to make sure you find a good groomer, right? I hope that answered some questions. I know some of it was just like picturing it was kind of gross, but if you were in the bathroom trying to shave yourself and you're like, ooh, I just nicked myself down there. If you're going to nick yourself, I promise you, you're going to nick your dog. And then it's going to be a vet bill either way. It's going to be a vet bill one way or another. So better be safe than sorry. I'd rather you nick yourself than to nick the dog and make sure all your equipment's clean. Okay. And that you clean them, to clean the blades and everything between dogs, especially. Okay. Um, okay. I want to see you shave your arm and shave your armpit and anywhere else there's a bush. And only if you're on the gaming channel, will you understand the bush bush comment <laughs> okay take care of those bushes people all right um <laughs> sophie are you laughing right now because me me and sophie are bush people and so is buffy buffy's a bush person anyway it's just an inside joke on the me and you gaming go watch you'll find out all right i am going to get out of here how many okay let me just get, do a poll here how many of you women out there men too i guess shave most every part of your own body can I get a uh, what, what, can I get a dog up stand emoji for those? Do you shave a part of your body with the shaver today? Any size shaver, shaver, not a razor blade, not your legs. I'm talking about any part of your body. Do you shave it? How many women and men out there shave a body part? Dog up stand emoji, please. If you have to move skin flaps around and get, you know, I used to actually pluck my arm. I used to pluck my arm hair. I know that's gross, but I don't know why I started it in high school. I used to pluck my arm hair. I can tell you it hurt, <laughs> but I like to do it. I don't know why it was something I like to do, but look at all those people that shave a body part. So if you have to shave a body part, I mean, not with the, not your legs, you know, with a, a clipper like that, and you've got to move your body part, your, your private parts around to make sure you don't nick yourself. It's very much the same. When you are working with a private area of a dog, you need to move it around. You need to be really paying attention and you need to know the blades to use. I personally would only on sanitaries, I would only be using a 10 blade and on the pads, I would be using a 40 blade. And until again, with the, with the 40 blade, when you get a ceramic 40 blade, get an ultra edge. If you've never used one, get an ultra edge first. If you use a ceramic, those babies are so sharp. As soon as I touch it right here, I've got blood. That's how sharp it is. So boom, I touch it right there. I'm like, holy crap. All the lines of the 40 blade teeth are right here on my finger. Those come brand new that sharp. 
So if you don't know what you're doing, get an ultra edge. And then if you're grooming a lot and then move into the ceramic, because those are faster cutters and they're sharper and they just uh, can only be, they have a shorter lifespan. David T, what does he say? Panasonic makes a, exactly. So if you are, okay, human males are intact and they have a lot of stuff to move around if they're shaving themselves. So imagine doing the same. You've got this thing you need to move around. And you're doing a private area on a dog, same thing. That's why I always feel to make sure, are you intact? Because if you are, I can't just come up here like that or I'm going to nick something up there, okay? And it's going to be too late because that skin that's holding, that scrotum in on a dog is very narrow. So if you don't really know what you're doing, sometimes you can just pull, push up, grab it, and move, and hold the leg up, and then move everything out of the way. But you really need to look at what you're doing. So same thing. Angela, I hope I answered your question. I spent way too much time on that. So, uh, and this is a very touchy subject. So apologies for anybody that thinks it's gross. I think it's gross, but I think it's, it's not it PG, bro. People can needs get to be, mad. huh? People are going to get mad. Yeah, but it, this is, be. this is the fact we have to groom every part of the dog and it includes their private areas. So this is great advice. I would try to groom myself first because I do groom myself. So I know if I do the wrong heavy movement, I might nick myself. So I, I just hope you guys understand that. All right. I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to end it on that. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Thank you for your donations. It makes me want to come back tomorrow on a live feed. I appreciate it. I'm very uh, appreciative of those donations. You being here, I, I can't say thank you enough. Um, I love you guys. And I want to tell members oh. to make sure you guys are active in the community. Oh, he's trying to get you guys active because we're we're going to do stuff on the app. On the, the, the moment we post that link for you guys to go to see the live video. We'd probably do it like the night before to give you guys time so that you guys have the link before. So time. the premiere, but, like yeah. a premiere link or yeah, what? But it's only going to be viewable to members. And judging by the guys that commented on that member chat, on that member post, it was only about 50. 50 is, out of like right now there's 88. It's probably so. like 40% uh, of members that actually saw that. Okay. So right now, if you're a member and you're about to log off, where should they go right now to, look, to say, hey, Didi, I know, I, I know where the chat member. is. I'm not a member, but I assume you would go to My Favorite Groomer channel, click on it, and it's going to take you to the My Favorite Groomer homepage. And then you're going to click on one of the bars on top, and you're going to go to community, and you should be able to see extra posts that only members can see since you guys are members. That's what I assume. That's what I can tell you guys by knowing. But I've physically not done it. So, Janisha, did you do it? So Janisha, did you already do it? She says, yeah, not so many. So that means she did, might have done it already. I want to see on my phone here. You guys just like click on my favorite groomer. It's going to take you to the channel. Also an in inbox, David. See, you guys can see it in the inbox. Okay. Uh, let me let me do it first. I'm going to tell you, show I you all this stuff on my phone. I to member, but it, it'll just. So if I go to my favorite groomer, I go to my channel. So this is what they would see. This is my, this is on a cell phone anyway. Okay. Yeah, this is easy. So here's my, here's, here's my YouTube on my cell phone, which is always different than so she's, she's on a computer. My favorite groomer. So I went to there. my YouTube on my cell phone. I'm at my favorite groomer. I, you can click that logo. I think on your phone, you'll be able to click the logo. I'm already in there. It says my favorite groomer. And up here it says community. So when you go to community there, you should see, right? Uh, look, I've got this one right here. We posted that on the community chat. See, post something publicly on YouTube. So I can see. So right here, I will be doing a member only question and answer soon. You guys are missing this. Members only, see? Uh, and then you got your likes here. 14 saw that, 30 saw that. Missy. Oh, right here. So what he's saying is That's you need to days ago, only 30 members. That's not even 40%. That's probably like 25. Right. So what I need you to do right now, when we say goodbye is you go in there and say, Didi, I saw it. I'm here. Make sure you hit community and, and see that we're here and go, okay, we're going to post something here. I'm going to go. Did you see this? Members only. Okay, I'm gonna go members. Members, did you see this? Because we need you guys to be able to actually go there. So I'm gonna post this right now. Members, did you see this? Post. So it says right there, members, did you see this? I need you guys to go smash the like button on that and make a comment if you need to. But you need to see what we're posting there. If you're paying to be a member, I need you to do that. Okay. That I need you to do that. Will come, will you're, you become a member. That's right. 
So we're going to go, hey, you guys, members only, here's a link to a video you won't be able to see on our YouTube channel. It will be just for that link for you guys, you know what I'm saying, through YouTube, but it won't be on the channel. It'll be a members only. So if you don't want to miss that and you're paying for a membership, go like that message I just did. So I know how many, there's over 90 members right now, and we want to make sure all 90 members are paying for well, you're paying, but you're pay, You're getting what you pay for. Uh, I'm doing some extra stuff for members, even though uh, the members only is for YouTube and our channel. So I'm doing sp special things for members only. And as always, I always do special things for our top sales uh, clients. You guys know that. Uh, Callie, you can do a hands up. Yes, Didi takes care of me. Um, Yvonne, uh, anyone who's done major, Mikio, if you've done major purchases, major powwows, major moderating, I, Angela, I've got something, Angela Turk, I've got something on the way for you. But if you've done major support for us, I have always taken care of you, always. So um, if you're not a member and you take care of me, I do take care of you. Uh, I, do, I do take note. All right. So those yeah. of you who are members. Maybe you guys just aren't seen or maybe go and do... Thank you, Janice. That sure means that, that that's how easy it was. She just went and did it and came back. Make so. sure that you go to your settings on your phone and allow YouTube to notify you or notifications on YouTube. That might be a thing too. Maybe that's why you're not seeing it because you blocked the notifications from YouTube. You Good job. Do that. All right. Good job. All right. Thank you so much, y'all. Appreciate you. Please, please take heed on this. This is very serious. We really, really want to make sure more than 30 of you guys get the membership only videos. Okay. Um, that's all. That's all good. right. Make sure you shop at myfavoritegroomer.com and dogupstand.com. And we will be back tomorrow. And check out our gaming channel. To, we'll see you on the gaming channel tonight. If you're having a bad day, go join us over there. Which night, Bob? Go join us over there. Meet some great people on the feed and um, have fun with it. So cool. So cool. Click here to become a member. That's cool, man. Love you guys. I really, really love you guys. Thanks for being here. If you're not a member, I still see you out there. Thanks for watching, subscribing, sharing the channel, and, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.